Okay, so we got another trophy list video for you today and no dilly dallying. Just going to get straight into it after a couple of short plugs. Join the Discord, link is down below. Leave comments down below. And if you want your trophy list reviewed in the future, leave your PSNP name in the comments. Let's get straight into it. So we've got John Zia 07. I can see by his little uh, Anakin, my allegiance to the Republic, to democracy, suggests that uh, he's a Star Wars fan. And from the looks of it, he's currently playing Resident Evil 5. But we're not about what is currently being done. We're on about the Platinums. So first one, a hat in time, banger of a Platinum, 3 out of 10 difficulty, 28.59%. I mean, there's a lot of DLC, 10 trophies to be precise, but he's got the Platinum on it. One that I gave up on. Probably going to go back to it at some point, but for the most part, I gave up. Then we got a way out. I mean... It's a, it's a short game, but it's a, it's a game that I would recommend to everybody. If you've got somebody else to go through it, it can be quite fun and a, a nice, enjoyable game. Then we've got Alan Wake, so very nice on that one. 4 out of 10, only a 13.5, and he's done all the DLC on it as well, so fair play on that one. Then we've got Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and he's got that twice. PS3 version and the PS4 version. Uh, PS4 version is quite high. The PS3 version, fair play on this one, 3.48%. And that's on a 6 out of 10 game as well. So, pat on the back for that one. And then we've got Assassin's Creed 2, 3. Uh, a double stack of Assassin's Creed Revelations as well. Shout out to, actually, shout out to 3 as well. Free, Assassin's Creed 3, 4.78% on that. Very nice. DLC as well, 1.13%. And then Assassin's Creed Revelations for the PS3, 7.75% and 1.2% DLC. Absolutely goated. And then further down, Assassin's Creed Unity, very nice. And then twice Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Although, to be fair, there's no way you're going to complete Assassin's Creed Valhalla in 4 hours and 15 minutes. So I'm guessing that's kind. Obviously, it's not an auto pop, but let's just say it's as good as. But still, fair play. Twelve point five one percent, one point zero nine percent on the DLC for the PS4 version, and sixteen point two two, one point eight zero for the PS5 version. So fair effing play. Then we move away from the Assassin's Creed. We've got Astro's Playroom. Everybody should have this. Absolutely no ifs, no buts. Yes, it's easy, but it's just a fantastic game. Anybody that buys a PS5 should be the first thing you do. That's my opinion, obviously, but... Uh, Balan Wonderland. I think this is the first time I've ever seen this on a list. So, again, round of applause for that one. And especially as it's only a 5.97% beautiful absolutely beautiful no trophy guide i'm guessing so fair play uh then we got battlefield one battlefield 2042 battlefield three and battlefield five uh kind of a auto pop again but to be fair the fact that you did it in the first place with its 4.12 percent i don't know when you did it I don't know when in Battlefield 2042's cycle this was, because obviously it started out being absolutely trash. Um, I think the game came out earlier than May 2023, but I could be wrong. But still, fair play. Same with Battlefield 3, 2.73% on that one. Battlefield 5, 4.86% on that one. I mean, we're already going through some of these games with such low percentages. Absolutely goated. Uh, I'm looking forward to what else is coming. Uh, Blood and Truth, 3.96% on that with a 0 0.8. Oh my god, I've just seen something even more extreme. But Brawl Halla, 3.13%, 0.07% on the DLC. Very, very nice. Goated. Uh, like, I think this might be my favourite list so far, purely just because of how many low percentages. 
that is like zero point zero seven percent. I know I know Brawl Brawlhalla isn't like you know a, 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 a the kind of game that's going to capture everybody, but still you've you've been there, you've done it. One hundred and fifteen hours on the guide as well tells you everything you need to know. Um, Bully next, nice. I mean, but for a ten difficulty, twenty two point eight seven, but. It's a fantastic game. It's probably one of my favourite Rockstar games in truth. I'm, I've never been a fan of Rockstar games, but when I played Bully, I, I did enjoy it. It almost got me to go back and play some of the Grand Theft Autos. My, my face, well, more importantly, my nose is so itchy. There we go, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so Call of Duty Modern Warfare, nice, 6.66%, 1.47% on the DLC. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered, very nice. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, also very nice. Uh, Control, brilliant game, beautiful game. All, always would recommend, so tempted for, to go back to this myself for the PS5 version. Then we got, ev is this everyone? Not obviously not every crash, but Crash One, Crash Two, Crash Three, Crash Four, twice, PS5 version. I'm guessing. Well, definitely uh, semi auto pop uh, because there's no way you fitted a hundred hours into forty nine hours. But fair play, very nice. Three point five six on the Crash Bandicoot Four Platinum. Beautiful. Then we got Cyberpunk 2077, very, very nice, 16.15%, which is quite high considering how big of a game it is. Um, but I know, I know it's fairly simple, fairly easy, shall I say. Uh, then we got Days Gone, very nice, 25.19% on that one. Uh, Destruction All Stars, okay. Oh, I'm sitting up, I'm listening. 1.47% on that. Obviously, not the greatest of games. I played it, I think, when it first came out. I, I It didn't capture me. I, I didn't stick with it. I think I played it for about three hours, and I was just like, oh, this is kind of boring. But other people would have enjoyed it. I'm hoping you was one of them, seeing as that you put the hours in to get the Platinum Trophy, and it's a very low one at that. Uh, then we got Detroit Become Human. Nice. Uh, Dirt 5 Twice. From the looks of it, uh, no, that, that's not that's not semi auto pop or nothing. So fair play on that one. Only a three out of ten, twenty five hours, but eighteen point five five and a fifteen point six. Nice uh, driver, San Francisco, mate. I know, like I know that all PS3 games are considerably lower percentages, but still. Driver San Francisco, 2.74%. Beautiful. Ball Out Shelter, one that I've considered myself, but uh, I've been put off a little bit by that. I know there's one trophy that's like really dog shit to try and earn, uh, so I've not gone for it as of yet, but who knows in the future. Uh, but nice, 8.76 on that. Then Fallout New Vegas, 6.70%. And the DLC, 2.07%. Beautiful. Final Fantasy 15. I mean, the Platinum itself, it's almost 1 in 4. But you've even done the DLC, 0.6% on that. Ghost Runner, awesome game. 10.11%. I'm quite, quite surprised that that's quite so low. It's, it's one that I keep thinking about going for, but 6 out of 10, 12 hours, I'd imagine it would take me months. Months and months. Uh, then we got Grand Theft Auto 5 twice. I'm going to take a guess. No? A, a month and three weeks? Yeah, you can fit 150 hours into that. So I'm going to say fair play. It look, looks like you've done the majority of it, if not all of it, twice properly but ps4 two percent dlc 0.21 percent and then ps5 5.12 percent and 0.83 percent beautiful
Now Hades, another one that I haven't seen very often on many of these lists that I've done. Almost 1 in 4 on that, 24.69%. I played this so much when it first came out. I, I really enjoyed it, but I, I don't think I ever managed to finish the game, like the, the, the Escape in Hell or whatever it's called. I never did it. Like, obviously I need more skill. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy, I've mentioned it numerous times about Hogwarts Legacy as to why I've never got that one. Hotline Miami, very nice, 9.99% on that. Uh, Intelligence Cube, twice, PS5, PS4. Uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising, nice. It takes two, nice. Uh, Kena or Kena, Bridge of Spirits, beautiful. 18.07 on that one, 7 out of 10 difficulty. Um, I know that they there was a way of kind of like cheesing the hard difficulty at one point. I'm going to take a guess. 29th of June 2023, you probably did this legit. J judging by some of the, the platinum trophies you've got, I'd imagine you're a, a GOAT gamer. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say you probably did this one legit. Then we got some Lego games. So we got Lego Harry Potter 1 to 4 and 5 to 7. Lego Marvel Super Heroes Universe is in Peril. Universe in Peril. Then we got Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. I mean, at the top of your bio, you had that Star Wars quote. So I'm not surprised at seeing the next couple. Uh, Lego Star Wars, The Skywalker Saga. 100 hours. I know that that's a long one because I considered it until I saw the 100 hours. Um, because I am going to do a Lego game at some point in the near future. But it's probably going to be like one of the the 20 15 to 20 hour ones uh, but you know what fair play on both of those fair play on all of them uh, and then lastly we've got lego the hobbit nice uh, then we've got loco roco midnight carnival i have absolutely no idea uh, what that is um so i apologize but then we go into marvel's avengers oh, I, I i i actually really enjoyed this game when it first came out i got it day one i played it ton played it with one of my mates this this was before i was even like a considered a platinum hunter um so I, I wasn't really like going for the platinums i was just playing it to play it and, and i thought it was a load of fun and then i don't know the, the fun just died off very quickly um got very repetitive but fair play you completed the 95 hours uh, and got the platinum 10.41 percent on that then we got spider-man spider-man 2 Spider-Man again. I'm guessing those two are the exact same. Well, this one's remastered. Then we've got Miles Morales and Miles Morales again. Uh, one day, 20 hours. Yeah, I'd say that's a legit. Yeah, I'd say they're all legit. So nice, 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 and nice. Uh, Miles Morales is another one that I keep looking at and thinking, I need to actually do that at some point. Because I've, I've only ever played the first Spider-Man Um I enjoyed it, but just because of the way my my uh, my mind works, like I get very bored of, of games. So if I play something and then do the sequel straight after, I just I can't stick with it. Uh, but let's carry on with the list. We got Medieval Remake, nice. Uh, Minute, nice. Mirror's Edge Catalyst, fair play on that one, eight point two eight percent. Obviously, it's unobtainable now. I've got the game physically. The day I decided I'm actually going to play it for the first time was the day after the turn the servers off. I'm such a such an idiot. Uh, and then next we've got well, I uh, you know what? I don't do this very often. But I'm going to open it in a in another tab because I'm going to check that out after I've finished the uh, video. Naraka Blade Point. I have no idea what the game is. I will know at the end, but 0.6% for the Platinum Trophy. Fair play. Salute. I mean, for all I know, it could just be a very un unknown game that has a lot of... like could be a visual novel, for all I know. Uh, but I'm going to check it out because I'm, I'm intrigued. Uh, then we got Need for Speed Unbound. Nice. I actually don't have... As far as I'm aware, I don't have any... like actual racing games um and I, I do keep looking at the need for speeds but i just 
just can't be bothered. I, I like old day Need for Speed, like most wanted underground, like the originals, absolutely fantastic, but kind of lost its way. Uh, then we got Nickelodeon All Star Brawl, looks like twice legit. Fair play on that, 12.59% and 11.52% on those. Beautiful stuff. Near Automata, as I've said many a times, every time I see this game, one of the greatest games I've ever played. Uh, next we got Overcooked 2, 12.5% on that one, so very nice. And oh my god. We got Overwatch 2. I don't like because of the way Overwatch is. I don't know if like most of these 92 trophies were Overwatch 1 and now it says Overwatch 2, but it says 100 hours. I'm I'm going to take well because you've earned it both on the same day. I'm guessing you played um, played it on on PS4. You then switched to PS5. You finished off the trophies and then you just loaded up your PS4 to to get the auto pop. That's that would be my guess. I could be completely wrong, but still, hundred hours est estimated, two point eight five, zero point six percent on the DLC, and for the PS4 version, one point seven eight percent and a zero point one four percent on DLC. Beautiful. Then we've got probably the longest game with the highest percentage. Platinum, I think, are, are, that that I'm aware of. I don't know any others that are quite this high. But, I mean, it's a banger game, so I can see why people have done it. But I'm just surprised at how many have done it. And that's Persona 5 Royal. 43.19% on a game that is 120 hours is just is nuts. But fair play to you, and fair play to everybody else. Persona 5 Strikers, 12.76 on this one. 50 hours, 4 out of 10. Leaves a sour taste in my, my mouth. Oh my god, that one came out of nowhere. I apologise. Absolutely came out of nowhere. Caught me off guard. My chest's hurting now. Christ, I'm getting old. Uh, but yeah, Persona 5 Strikers. Bit of a sour taste in my mouth because I did so much of it. And this was before I was a trophy hunter. And I'm two trophies away from the Platinum. But I, f I don't think I've got the save file anymore. And I can't remember what they were exactly. So it's like... Uh. But yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed that game. So fair play. Uh, got a couple of pinball games. Uh, then Prodeus, I think it's called. I believe that's the game that's similar to Doom. I think it came out on PS Plus, if I remember right. Uh, I think if, if it's the game I'm thinking of, I downloaded it and then just deleted it like about a week later. I never, never, never even put it on. But 11.43% on that one, so fair play. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, one of the greatest uh, PS5 titles, hands down. Fair play on that one. Red Dead Redemption 2. If I wasn't going bald, I would tip the hat. That is, mate, 200-hour estimate, 2.54% on that one. Fair play. Uh, and then we go into the Resident Evils. Nice. I do love myself a Resident Evil, to be fair. And we have Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 2, twice. Legit as well, from the looks of it. Resident Evil 3, twice. Um, I, I mean... I'm going to go out on a limb and say, because of how goated of a gamer you clearly are from all your trophies, that might be a legit one. I know it says 14 hours and 10 minutes, and the guide suggests 20, but if you know what you're doing, I'm guessing you know what you're doing. But fair play on all of those. Um, quite surprised that they're all relatively high, with the exception of the original, uh, well, Resident Evil 1 and 0, 6.19% on that one, 10.64% on that one. It's like you've just gone for the harder ones, because you are, you haven't got 4, which is considered relatively easy. 5, which I think is the easiest one, I mean I've got it. 6, 6 is easy, it's just very grindy. 
But yeah, it looks like you've you've gone for, and sevens it quite easily. Another one that I have. Um it's a fair play. Uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica as well, 9.65% on that one. And then we've got Resident Evil Village, one that I've considered myself. Um 15.45% on that. Fair play. Uh, then we go into Sackboy, A Big Adventure, very nice, 8.61%. Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2, just got to give you props on both of these, 1.83%, 0.74%, um, and then 3.95% with a 3.63% DLC as well. Fair play, 50 hours for both, 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10, very nice. And we get into the part where... Uh, I've hit 100 Platinums because my uh, add-on has disappeared. Uh, Star Wars Episode 1, Racer, nice. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, 11.36% on that one. Never even heard of that game, to be honest. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, 5.84% on that one, nice. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, twice, I'm guessing partial auto pop. Maybe. Uh, oh, you've actually got that on three times. Oh, so you did it on North America and EU. Fair enough. Uh, Star. Okay, I knew I knew you was a Star Wars fan, but my God, there's loads. Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Nice, five point five three percent on that one. So that is well done and fair play. Star Wars: Republic Commando twice, EU and NA. Star Wars Squadrons, now I did notice this at the top of the list because it was in your trophy cabinet. Squadrons, 0.4%. My God, I don't think I will ever see a Platinum of mine that low, even if... it. it I just don't think I'll ever see it. Like The only way I could get, get it that low is if I found a game that no one in the world had played, secretly set up like 200 accounts, played it on all of them, and then on my account just platinumed it. It's the only way I'd get it that low. Uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars twice, uh, PS5, PS4, Force Unleashed, Force Unleashed 2 for PS3, 6.96% and 6.17% on those. Beautiful stuff. Uh, Stranded Deep, 6.87% on that. Nice. Uh, we've got Stray, greatest cat game ever, Subnautica, very nice, and Subnautica below zero. Uh, never played them. Uh, like, underwater stuff just doesn't really appeal to me. I'm not going to say it bores me, but it just doesn't capture me. Uh, Superstar Dust Portable, uh, twice, Siphon Filter, twice. Siphon Filter 2, 2, twice. Siphon Filter 3, twice. Are these... When were these added? Are these actually playable on PS4 and PS5? Because if they are, I need to check them out. Uh, Siphon Filter Dark Mirror as well, twice. Fair play on all of those. The Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan, 6.21% on that one, so beautiful. Uh, Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, very nice. 12.95% on that and 5.18% on the uh, DLC. And then I lost my train of thought because I'd already I'd seen the next one, the finals. Obviously, my, my guide thing isn't here, but I'm pretty sure that the guide for this is 300 hours and it takes some, it takes some dedication and some skill. 0.42% on it. I literally watched, I think it's Sandrez, uh, his video, and I was just, I watched it from the start to the end, and I was just like, oh my god, this this is fantastic, and and I downloaded it, and then I thought to myself, I struggle to get platinums on games that are like over 30, 40 hours, like because of the time I have available, I can't start start something like that. I mean, I could obviously chip away at it, but by the time I got to it, like the game will probably be dead. Um, the Last of Us Part 1 next, 42.9% on that one. I'm surprised that that's so high, but fair play. The Order, 1886, nice. Titanfall 2, 8.09%, very nice. Then we got Toem, 
Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Blacklist for the PS3. 5.46% on that one. Tormented Souls for the PS5, 8 18.30%. I got I brought this, I believe it was like within its first week, and I was a little bit disappointed, but it is one that I plan to go back to at some point. Um, then we got Trek to Yomi. I have no idea what that game is. I've seen it around, but I don't know what it is. But that's a 10.08% platinum. Nice. Then we got all the Uncharted's. So we got Uncharted 1, Drake's Fortune. I've got a video of that on the channel. Shameless plug, I know, but go and check it out. It's performed awful, but yeah, I need to uh, revisit the way I do my videos, I think. Uh, Uncharted 2, Among Thieves, 17.85% on that one. Beautiful. Uh, Drake's Deception, 17.43% on that one. A Thief's End, 9.21%. Beautiful stuff. Um, I mean, I that that was the first Uncharted game I played, and the collectibles threw me off. Uh, Legacy of Thieves Collection isn't that the one where you have to do four and Lost Legacy at the same time? I think so, but fair play. And then Lost Legacy as well. Unpacking twice, Untitled Goose Game, yet another. Zombie Defense, and lastly, Zombie, that is 3.29%, beautiful. So let's go back to the top and look through the milestones, as we always do. So your first Platinum was Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, nice. 10th Platinum was Final Fantasy XV. 20th Platinum was Resident Evil Village. 30th Platinum was Cyberpunk 2077. 40th Platinum was Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Fair play on this one. 50th Platinum, Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. So, yeah, I'll see what you're doing. Uh, 75th Platinum, Crash Bandicoot 4. Beautiful. 100th Platinum, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. 125th Platinum, Uncharted 4. Your latest platinum was the final, so okay, you've only done this one more recently. So I am I'm glad. I'm hoping that by you being so far down on the list that you were, that it allowed this game to be finished so it was highlighted. Because like I said, that one by far is just next level. Next level. Um your rarest trophies, the finals, deep pockets, 50 million, I believe it is currency just takes so long and obviously the platinum and then you got three trophies from star wars jedi starfighter so i'm guessing that that's a game that you've maybe 100 percented it doesn't have a platinum but fair play and in your trophy cabinet you've put star wars squadrons why not because it is absolutely nuts platinum uh resident evil and crash bandicoot 4 so that's the end of the list john zia I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that is definitely my favourite list so far. It, like, so many low percentages. The hat is tipped, uh, saluted, chef's kiss, the lot. Absolutely fantastic list. Um, but for anybody that is looking for a future review, do not let that put you off. Every platinum that is earned still has a story to it just because this list is so fantastic doesn't mean that your list does not deserve to be reviewed you know so on and so forth so keep keep posting them down below keep uh updating them keep getting your platinums and join me in the next one uh can't remember who it is off the top of my head but i am going to start including the next person uh, just to kind of make sure people know it's keeping in order so yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I'll see your faces next time.